Well, I'm just outside of Bancroft and stopped at a road cut on the side of a highway. It's interesting because there's calcite and there appears to be some mineralization in the calcite. So I'd like to collect a few samples, etch them out, and see what we've got here, potentially coming back another day. As you can see, there's calcite, looks like mica in there. That vein extends up. There's more of it there. Lots of intrusions. There's a little pyrite, really teeny. Now here's a place where the rock has actually deteriorated. And you can see right here, these lines, some kind of crystal. I think what I'd like to do is grab that rock. there see what's going on see in that hole right there I can see calcite a loose rock below try to zoom in maybe caught it let's go up okay we're up top now here's the hole wow it goes way back in It's a cave. There's the calcite I saw from below. Another little hole. Black mineral of some sort. More up here. So it's very crystally. Anything else? There's more of something in this rock. There's a little tiny pie right there. What's next to it? Ah. Oh, this is some grabbing samples. That's part of my grab sample. Well, here's something that's looking a bit crystally. You can see the calcite crystals in there. Yeah. But I like the little vug. Let's keep going. Well, I'll look on the back side of this rock. See that? Let's garnet. 
There's one there too. Here's where someone has been chipping at it. There seems to be some iron in that one. Looks a little bit crystally. All right, in the same vein, these ones are weathered, but I can see garnet in there. Goes underneath. And then it peters out. So, what do you think? I'm actually of the belief that if I just dig into this stuff, I might find some garnet. I'm going to dig out just some of this hole and see what we can find. Hard to say because it's so dirty, but that one looks buggy and to keep that. There's something. Can you see that? I think it might have something in there. So dirty. I'm just going by the shape. Well, that looks interesting, eh? Might be nothing once it cleans up, but it might be something great. Okay, one more, and then we'll just take our samples. Now you might wonder why I didn't take a sledgehammer to the rock with the crystals in it, with the granite in it. And the simple answer is, I don't have a sledge with me. Okay, what I'm not seeing is garnet crystals. Okay, what I will try to do, because I do have a rock hammer, is just take out something that I can look at later.
what I am seeing now. Burn it in the face of the rock. See that? Okay. I'm going to leave it because I don't have the right tools and come back another day. But, uh, Consequently, I won't be advising exactly where this spot is because <laughs> I do want to come back. All right, so I think that's it. I got a few samples. I may just dig around a touch more and then I got to go. So these rocks with the interesting little bug in there, once cleaned out, really were bit of a disappointment. Right. So the rocks that I peeled off had potential but I'm not really seeing it in the samples that I collected. That probably is the best one up in this corner. Just a little bit of garnet in there. Very, very teeny. But you can see the, the garnet now in this one coming through. A little bit of etching and acid to take out the white calcite. Might expose something. And then, oh wait. That one, same thing. Almost, almost had potential. But there we go. There's the nice surprise. Big red garnet there. So, definitely a spot to go back to. And when I do, I'll take the camera.